Welcome to another Anaheim Automation tutorial video. Today we will be going over three very simple but useful components. The bid state lamp, bid state setting, and the switch. Let's start by creating a new project which we will call basic components. Today we will be utilizing the MT4403T along with a Kinko PLC with an RS232 serial connection. Our first component today will be the bit state lamp, which will display the on or off status of a designated PLC bit address. If the bit status is off, the shape representing state 0 will be displayed. If the bit status is on, the shape representing state 1 will be displayed. The corresponding label will also be displayed. Click the bit state lamp icon and drag it over to the configuration window. We must now input the bit address of the PLC register that will control our lamp state. The address type depends on the controller or PLC you are using, so for today's purpose we will be using LB, local bit. We will just select the normal function which just displays the state of the PLC register. Next, let's assign tags to each one of our states. And finally, we can assign a graphic to our lamp. Our next component that we will be illustrating today will be the bit state setting component. The bit state setting component defines a touch area which sets a specified bit to a certain status when it is touched or activated by other conditions. Click the bit state setting component and drag it into the configuration window. We will now be setting the output address to be the same as the input address of the bit state lamp, which we recall was LB10. Next, let's go over to the bit state setting tab and select toggle as our type. Every time the bit state setting component is pressed, the corresponding PLC bit register will be flipped from its current status. So if it's on, it'll go to off. If it's off, it'll go to on. Finally, our last component that we will be covering today is the bit state switch. The bit state switch is a combination of the bit state lamp and the bit state setting components. It will indicate the on off status of a PLC bit register and also define a touch area that when activated may change the status of a designated bit register. The input address is the bit address of the PLC register which controls the switch state. And the output address is the bit address of the PLC register whose on or off state is controlled by the switch. Select the graphics tab so that we can select a switch like graphic for our component. Select Compile to see if we get any errors. There are no errors. Now let's do an offline simulation to see how our components interact. Notice that both our bit state setting and bit state switch will both toggle our bit state lamp on and off. But remember that the difference between our bit state setting and bit state switch is that if we choose to, we can select a different input address for our bit state switch. Thank you for listening. This has been an Anaheim Automation Tutorial. Visit our website www.anaheimautomation.com for HMI related products or HMI related videos.